Taylor came in 152 and a half pounds. He went to lose weight. He lost two and a half pounds down to 150 and then made a financial agreement with the camp of both buses. And with all the 26 years, the 119 fights, the 800... To be steady, try to weigh you down. To slow you down. Again, most of the work from Oliveira is going to be in here. In close quarters, gets to close quarters. Augustus was able to put a left hand. Augustus. But the hand makes some stops along the way. Chugging along. That's where Oliveira wants to be in close. Right smile comes up on Emmanuel Augustus. And you know he's getting comfortable and he's ready to let loose. We're going to see if the steadiness of Oliveira straight stiff one. The one that so far tonight has been fairly accurate. Once again, the quicker hands. The man in the rocket truck. Getting a good look at that right now. Buddy. And you're getting a look at two right hands and two left hooks to the body and then back upstairs. He spots here with a bunch of good stop, like right here. And he goes to press it just a little too long. That's where Oliveira must make hay. Well, that little bit of sun is shining. With that advantage of speed on the outside. Round of action between Augustus in the leopard print trunks. And Super Ray Oliveira, the veteran who says he wants respect. He apologizes for coming in five pounds overweight, but he's looking for respect at age 36. And he says, I will keep going until I'm not wanted. We will use geometric figures to describe this fight. The rectangle is Augustus. There's just more angles to Augustus. He can do more things. He can fight inside with you. He can fight on the sides. Oliveira mostly limited to serving whatever he's going to serve offensively right here, right in front of you. Especially since Oliveira does most of his work, as we said earlier, when he gets close. The only thing you're going to see from Oliveira, Joe, on the outside is that jab. But not Augustus, you're going to see a lot of things from the outside. Even some things that are a little unorthodox. Chest of Augustus. Steady Augustus. Stabilize Augustus. Take some of that movement away from him. Not get caught up in it. Not get mesmerized. Take a look at Emmanuel Augustus. You know, he said to me yesterday, he said, what a pleasure it was. But it means a lot to me to see him in person. What are your thoughts when you when you want to be respectable guys are a lot of respect and I think when you watch those clips. <laughs> I actually, yeah, I do tell him like, what, what am I, why did I do this? <laughs> now here's Augustus with the showboating and a left hooker cut that comes in. And this is what he just loves to do, the stylist. Well, let's talk about what this can do. This can do a couple of things. One. He can definitely distract his opponent, although his opponent, Ray Oliveira, a guy who's fought for the world title, the IBF junior welterweight world title, and has fought seven current or former world champions, should be experienced enough to deal with that. But it can distract your opponent. It also can take you a little bit out of the fight. Oh, what an uppercut! And like I said, it can mesmerize your opponent and set up big shots. Now, the last thing it can do, can it hurt you on the scorecards? Can it hurt you with the judges? It has sometimes in the past, even though it should, it should be all about the punches. But sometimes it's not. Right now it is distracting Oliveira. The hand, the, the hand and the legs in the air, you're gonna tag him. Exactly, Mickey. We were talking about that earlier. That's where you must, number one, keep your composure, as you just said. And make sure your hands go. That's right. Your nephew showed plenty of that. Getting off the floor early in his first pro debut, in his first fight, in the first round, getting off the floor and making it a close fight. Right, Teddy. You can show technique. And these are the quarters where Oliveira wants to be and it makes sense for him to be. Right, Mickey? On the inside. That's where he does most of his work. Exactly. Ray's the bigger guy. And the Ray wants him, wants him to stay there, so Ray don't have to move around too much. But then he sees he's, he's reserved his energy right now. Damn it. Maybe some of those legs away. Exactly. From exactly. Exactly. Ray's got to make the most of his opportunity. Exactly. And he, and he is, but he's leaning in there. He's, not, he's punching him there, but he's leaning there. And he's not doing quite the effective work that you'd like to see him doing. And there's a good example of what you're saying. Giving a little opportunity now for Augustus to explode. Augustus. 
Texas lets his hands go. Mickey, thank you so much for visiting with us. Hey, listen, thank best you. of luck to your nephew. I know you're a great influence in his life and all your great contributions to the sport continue on. Thank you, Thank you. Good having you, Mickey. Final minute here at round number five. These two guys have a move. He pops a right hand in there. Emmanuel Augustus looks for the opportunities to put 10 punches. Stay up, man. And he does just that. a little space as soon as you see those angles in that little space that little distance look for Augustus to exploit it with his quicker hands down side to side knees up and firing off right hands that are swaying behind him and then all of a sudden they're landing flush Comfy box numbers from round five look at the punches 56 out of 108 for Augustus and Oliveira on the other side threw 143 Falls him back. Now staying with the jab, and the puppet is in form. Combination comes in from Augustus. A lot of people would ask, how do you deal with this kind of movement? He separates himself and he's the better guy. There's a double punch right there. Two in and left to the side. Then he's not ready to punch. And what he's doing that, see, with all that flash and pizzazz. Double punch, Teddy. Time, time. Exactly time. what it was. Two, of, <laughs> two for the price of not to do. Perhaps a sign, maybe, Joe, if the concrete wall, if you keep banging at that wall, banging at that wall, banging at that wall, sooner or later, it starts to get just a little bit. Six. Round five, he threw 143. Round six, he threw 80. It ain't gonna get much easier as we come down to the last three rounds here this time. Look at this guy, Sarah Nigel, with the ability he has. Talking about Augustus, the speed that he has. He can fight inside with you, hold you on the inside. Be able to just hold his own like he's doing right now. He's giving to Oliveira, taking his own medicine on the inside and getting the better. Then he can take it outside where Oliveira could not match it. Let's bring in Ice John Scully, the trainer for Super Ray Oliveira. Ice, how do you solve this problem that Ray has in front of him? What do you tell him? I mean, with Ray at this point in his career, I mean, I think he's with, he can't let this guy run around and razzle-dazzle the crowd and, and pick him off with these sharp shots. The guy's really hard to fight. He's hard to box. And um, I think he really needs to get back on him. It's not a Ray. It's a Steve's whole fighter in the twilight of his career. Ray Oliveira, now you... Oliveira kind of giving his last effort here because he's holding the back of his head. Right now. If he feels something in his head, maybe they want to take a good look here. I think so. And I think I was touching on uh, this earlier. The front campus can get a close look. Ray Oliveira looks like he's crying. Not only that, he looks like he's crying. And, and there's blood coming out of his nose. And I think this needs to be stopped. Come here, come here, come here. Doctor. Steve. Come on. And the doctor decided to let it go, but. Well, Steve, Steve, is saying, Steve is saying, hey, I'm not a doctor, so I'm going to listen to what you have to say. But the fight is over as well it should be as you see Emmanuel like Augustus coming over like to the, the corner looks, I don't like the way he's acting. and talking to Ray Oliveira. Like Steve Doc. Smoger, the outstanding veteran referee oh. that he's taken. There is an effect after that. As you can see, a right hand, first a clean one on the front of the head, on the chin, and then a glancing one behind the head. And in this fight, but look at the landed column and see the percentage for Emmanuel Augustus. Just very, very impressive display by a 